are live from the Pitt Center in Fairfield, Connecticut, and this is Northeast Conference Women's Basketball on ESPN3. Tonight, it's the Fairleigh Dickinson Knights taking on the Sacred Heart Pioneers. Sacred Heart leads the all-time series 27-4, but is 15-0 against Fairleigh on their home court, and the tip is controlled by the Pioneers. And now Kimmel. Carter for three up top. In and out as well. Loose ball is picked up by Kiana Brown for Fairley. She's got a one on two. Knocks it in, the bucket, and the foul. Really impressive. Fairley works it around the perimeter. That's Picata. Up top for Comley. Coming up on 10 seconds to shoot. Cox, Markovic. Markovic again on the follow. Markovic, one of the top rebounders in the NEC. Using a powerful fourth quarter, they outscored the Blackbirds 19 to six. This is Kimmel up under and through. Just a, a beautiful take. She can hurt you in so many ways. And she owns three does not go, and the rebound to Kimmel. Got Stork to the baseline, up and under. And, and she's one of their most talented Driver. She loves to attack the rim. This is Hickey to the baseline. Double team. Look like a double dribble. Officials say no. That is Castro. Beats the clock for three. Huge play and, and just the great recognition. As much as they do look to push it, Coach also told us yesterday that they do want to run the shot clock down if they don't have anything in transition. And finally, they get a layup to go. Markovic, her second field goal for four, fairly by two. Now you see some a little half-court trap there. Pays off. Can they finish again? Comley off the intercept for Thomas. The bucket and Fairley is up 24 to 20. Sacred Heart needs time. Down by two. Kiana Brown. Comley. Fires and hits. It's a three. And Fairleigh Dickinson will go into the locker room with a 27 to 26 lead. Hickey for Haynes, the spin move, and she's rewarded. That's just a beastly move right there. You saw it in her eye. 12 points for Brown to lead Fairleigh Dickinson. 11 for Haynes and Kimmel to lead the Pioneers. That is a three point bomb by Natalie Zamora. Her first points of the night. Eight minutes left. The Pioneers with the ball, down by two. Williams. Castro. 12 seconds to shoot. Kimmel. Hits. I guess that ankle's feeling pretty good. But there's been a, a ton of possessions in both halves. Just silly turnovers like that, where the, it's not even forced by the defense. Zamora, an NBA three! Wow. Comley, Zamora, five seconds to go. Just throws one up and hits the side of the backboard. The Pioneers have a chance. That's Williams with a bomb, and we will go to overtime. Woo, what a finish we have here. Castro, Stork, and Hickey on the floor for the Pioneers. That's Hickey for three. The trigger goes to Williams. This is Haynes backing in on Blankenship. The turnaround falls. Williams for Hickey. This is Haynes against Blankenship. Oh, that's a nice move. I think they're letting her catch it way too easily. Here are the final five seconds of the overtime. Comley, the NBA three doesn't go. That's going to do it. And Sacred Heart has knocked off Fairleigh Dickinson in overtime, 68 to 60. Catherine, second time your team has gone down to the wire with Fairleigh Dickinson. This time you guys needed overtime, but how are you able to get back, force overtime, and come out with the win tonight? Um, well, it was kind of difficult. You know, they were playing really good defense, uh, and we were kind of struggling from the three-point line. So our main focus was just getting to the basket, you know, getting as many boards and putbacks as we can, and you know, we did our best. And this is your seventh double-double of the season. It looked like in the second half you really got more aggressive and were attacking the basket. Did you change your mentality a little bit in the second half? 
I did. You know, like I said, we were struggling from the outside, so it was really important that we pounded it in to get it back out, kind of create shots for us, and my team really gave me confidence. All right, congratulations. We are going to bring in Coach Minetti. <laughs> Coach, second straight time that you've gone down to the wire with this team. It looked like they were kind of in control in the final few minutes. What does this say about your team to come back and enforce overtime and get the win? I think it says that we like to constantly do things the hard way. That's what we've been the most consistent at, is to find the hardest way to do something this season and then do it. But I think it's great. I mean, it gives us overtime experience, and we're, we're definitely going to be ready for postseason overtime. Hopefully it won't come down to that. But, you know, I think – we just battle and some kids continue to hit really big shots in overtime and I love that I love that it comes from different different players every single time yeah you had a bunch of players stepping up while Hannah was on the bench a little bit just what impressed you about how your team stepped up the different players well I think it was interesting you know I thought Fairleigh Dickinson did a really good job in their defensive game plan against us and we really tried to isolate mismatches but they did a really good job helping in I mean we shot terribly from the floor in the fourth quarter and then we ended the fourth quarter with like allowing three O boards and I think some of our players kind of get on each other which is great and and a lot of them also take ownership for things they do wrong and so you know I thought Day did a really good job controlling the offense I thought Cat had really big baskets in overtime Aaron hit that huge three to generate momentum so it's really fun to see kind of who gives me what every night and two more games you'll head up to Robert Morris and St. Francis the other two top teams with you guys um, just how big is this win and giving you some momentum for that final road trip well I think it's big you know we played them the first two games of the season and are finishing them with the last two we're, we're all very different teams than we were in the beginning and so I think we're, we always get up we always get really really excited to play this is a great rivalry for our school obviously we play with a lot of redemption against Robert Morris because of um, our experience last year with them and then St. Francis we always get up for because we love the tempo that they play so I think it'll be really fun and I think we'll try to close out the season really strong maybe come home with another banner and start the postseason off right all right well congratulations coach we'll uh, maybe see you back here in a few weeks sounds good thank you all right Paul back to you Kim what a ball game 17 lead changes and 12 ties in this one wow sacred heart with an overtime win